It can be hard keeping up with the world's biggest international airline. As Emirates Airline continues to expand its fleet, it is also constantly investing in new technology and manpower to maintain the standard of services that has made it one of the leading airlines in the world. One of the unsung heroes that plays a big role in making Emirates one of the world's best is the engineering department. Emirates employs 5,500 people in its engineering building at the northeast corner of Dubai International Airport. Emirates Engineering, which includes 1,200 engineers along with many others with expertise in diverse disciplines such as painting and software, is responsible for making sure the aircraft doesn't stay on the ground for long. And it's like a car really. So if you've got a car brand new, when you first get it, it goes to the garage, you get it back in half a day. An aeroplane's similar. We operate on flying hours rather than miles or kilometres. And as the aircraft gets older, it needs more because the work pack is bigger. You have to do more inspections opening up to, to get inside and do things. So as it, as it gets older... Um, it spends more time having the maintenance done. To cut down on time spent waiting for parts, Emirates stores on-site thousands of spare parts, which include nearly everything from engine thrusters, structural components, wheels, and even nuts and bolts. Up to 97% spare parts needed are available on-site. During Gentiva's visit, Two Airbus A380s were in the engineering shop for maintenance check. It can take around 30 days to service an A380 and 50 to 55 days for a major service and complete interior refurbishment. That can be a long time, but with Emirates operating the world's largest A380 fleet with 66 to date, the airline can afford to be flexible. The hangar team have a huge amount of structural inspections, modifications, service bulletins to bring the aircraft because this is an early model. So there's sort of improvements to the aircraft that have been going on since they've been delivered. And now we get an opportunity to upgrade the systems, so a lot of the components to the more recent standard. There's been quite a large group on here from Airbus working alongside us, doing some of the specific modifications and service improvements which they have been working on on Emirates' behalf. Inside the aircraft, a complete refurbishment means stripping the aircraft of all seats and in-flight amenities, replacing them with the latest product offering. The airline's attention to detail is meticulous. There are staff constantly checking and servicing in-flight coffee machines, while subcontractors regularly check the durability of seat belts, life jackets, survival kits, and other safety equipment. There are also stretchers and even baby incubators. Elsewhere on site is a facility where aircraft are repainted, which happens around every seven years. It is an arduous and lengthy job that requires a team of 30 and consumes one ton of paint and workers on the job 24 hours a day. It takes more than 10 days to paint a Boeing 777. For an Airbus A380, a team of 35 will use 2.5 tons of paint working over 20 days and 24 hours a day. Each aircraft in Emirates' fleet of 238 needs to be painted in such a way that the logo on the side and the UAE flag on the tail all line up when the aircraft is parked at the airport. Irish Eden Beliaza for Gulf News. Let's <laughs> go.